Hi ladies and gents, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. I uh, just wanted to pop one here really quick and do a quick tutorial on strobe makeup. Um, it's where you contour your face with highlight, but you don't contour with the deep dark bronzing powder. So you still get kind of that sun-kissed glow, but it's just with highlight. So if you want to see what's in this strobing, please stay tuned. Please also like and subscribe to my channel if you like to see more videos, including a tutorial on this hairstyle here. And thank you for watching. But I wanted to show you guys something that I had that I'm going to use uh, with this, which is the Sedona Lace Brushes. Um, this is the Travel Pink Set. Um, as you can see, they have all different types of brushes, uh, face brushes, eye brushes, lip brushes, etc. So I'm going to use these along with my Real Techniques blending sponge um, to help me blend out my makeup and get everything set and ready. Okay, as I said in the intro that I'd be more than happy to do a tutorial on this hairstyle. So I'm going to start by moisturizing my face with the Mario Badesco um, Rose Water. And also I like to put on um, another moisturizer that has SPF 15 in it. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Revitalift Water Double Wear Foundation in Toasty Toffee. And I'm going to see if it's still good for now. Yeah, it is. three of five brush and I'm going to spray some MAC Fix Plus on it. Do my brows with the Maybelline Master Shape. And then I'm gonna set them with the Mega Clear Wet n Wild. So I've gone ahead and done most of my eye makeup. Um, just have two things left to do. I need to do my eyeliner and I also need to put on my mascara. And this is the CoverGirl Intensify Me Eyeliner. And what I like about this is it's like a two-way kind of deal. So if you put it one way, you get a thin line. But if you put it another way, you get a more bold line. Is the strobing. So I'm going to show you two of the more, I guess you could say, one is kind of like mid-range high-end and the next one is kind of like within the same family is if you wanted to do a matte type of um, highlight which is this color right here you could do um, this is MAC and accentuate and it'll give you more of a matte colored highlight One of the other colors that you could use is the Becca Soft Touch Blush in Silk. And this one has more of a kind of a glittery finish to it, and that's this color right here. And then the next one is going to be Lorac's Tantalizer. Um, it's the highlighter and matte bronzer duo and it looks like that and that is going to be this color here then getting a little bit more in reasonable prices is the Milani Luminoso and the NYX Illuminator in Chaotic so let me show you what chaotic looks like and this will look like on my finger. And chaotic is gonna be this one here, and it has kind of a pinky undertone to it. And luminoso has more of a pink and peachy glow. So it'll kind of give you like two tones in one. So the one that I'm going to use is going to be my NYX Eliminator and the Becca Soft Touch Blush. 
is this um, Sedona 727 brush and yes this is a foundation brush but it gives me a little more control on where I want to go so I'm going to put it here here, here, Cupid's bow, under my lip, my chin, and then I'm going to do here and here. And yes, I know it looks like a lot, but we're going to blend it out. I'm going to take this Sedona Lace 813 brush and Really buff it out. And then I'm going to take this powder brush here and I'm going to use the NYX Eliminator in Chaotic. And so it kind of gives like a glow in the spaces where the sun would normally hit me. sunlight and sunbeam hitting my face in different areas so I didn't want to add too many colors together. So if you like this video please subscribe, please like, and let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see. Bye! having a fury like eyeliner gone wrong. Just saying. Watch me get my brushes clean with this brush egg. Stay tuned. <laughs>